too. That's the beauty of being live, right? Hi everybody, I'm Chris of Sparkles and welcome to my fitness channel. If you haven't already, hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. That helps me provide more workouts for you. Dang, I got that right. And I am looking forward to our Pilates workout today. I have no leotards on this morning because I need to do laundry. So instead, I'm wearing pants. But fret not, I'm sure everybody watching this is wearing pants. Here's what you're gonna need for our Matt Pilates workout today. All you're gonna need is a minivan. Oh yeah, I have a medium weight. Whatever you have is fine. If it's a little too heavy, it might be a little challenging to do some of the movements. It's less about high intensity, it's more so about the mobility and how much we can work with it and getting that flexibility here. If you don't have a mini band, grab a set of light weights. And if you don't have a set of light weights, don't worry about it. You don't need anything at all. You can just work with your good old self and it'll be a great time. I'm gonna let you know that we're gonna be bombed by a lot of uh, pups today. Pups by meaning dogs, pups, cats. So, if you see a pup, you see a cat, drop an emote in the chat. Let's have some fun. Let's go ahead and take it on down. I'm gonna start with my bridge. I'm going to take my band all the way through my legs. Good morning, Esther. All right, Esther emotes in the chat. She's got allergies, I do too. You're gonna to take that band just above your knees and we're just gonna go ahead, take those arms around those shins, hello and slowly roll yourself on down for five, four, three, two, and one. So let's make sure that our knees are on top of those heels. Thank you, Esther. Can you just take a seat? Can we just take a seat? Good job. You're gonna go ahead and keep your arms long by your sides. Knees on top of those heels. I wanna see tension in that band. Even if it's not heavy, I want you to think about getting the tension in the band nice and taut so you still have resistance in those outer thighs. Reach those arms long by your sides. Take a deep breath in through the nose right here and let's exhale. Curl through the sacrum. So go ahead, find that rock in the pelvis. So I'm gonna put my arms out here so you can see. So as I'm rocking it, notice my ribs are coming up. I'm over accentuating that lower back and then as I'm pulling it down and up, that pelvis tilting up, it's flattening my spine. I wanna find a nice little happy middle ground right here to find that neutral. So that neutral space is where there's that natural curvature of that lower back. We don't want it imprinted. We don't want it flaring up through the ribs. You wanna stay right in the center. Now here we go. Take that deep breath in through the nose. Curl through the sacrum. Now as you curl through the sacrum, you're gonna feel that imprint of that spine as you start to lift and curl those hips up. Now try not to squeeze your glutes. You're gonna hold it up here. You're just finding articulation in that spine, finding that movement. You're pressing into that band and slowly from the top of that spine, it's gonna roll down one vertebra at a time for four, three, two, Roll it back to neutral. So roll slightly forward, curl it on up. And slowly release it on down. Beautiful work. You want to wake up the body, especially as you're sleeping, no matter how much sleep you got. We're pretty stagnant and still when we sleep. Esther, are you humping? Are you humping on camera? Esther, that's not appropriate. If you're anxiously humping, you have to take it off camera, off the rug, okay? You know, my my senior child likes to get down and dirty when she's anxious. Bless you, bless you. <laughs> she's cracking me up this morning. Good, let's go ahead and do a few more just like that. <laughs> Good, so we're continuing with that bridge. Hi, you're okay. We gave you your allergy medication, so we're good. Two more. I haven't forgotten about you guys, I promise. Multitasking. Being a dog mom and a fitness instructor, it's a hard life. Go ahead, hold it right here. Go ahead and find that hold. Now we're finally going to squeeze those glutes underneath and we squeeze it up and up and up. Find that lift up to the top. You have eight right here, it's seven. And six, it's five and four, and
and three and two and hold it right here. Find that opening, lift those toes off the ground. So we're really flexing through those feet now, toes out to the sky. Open the knees, close. Open the knees and close. Find that opening. Now press into those shoulder blades to imprint that mat to lift those hips just a tad higher. We still want the ribs to close inwards. Good, hips higher than those ribs for five. Draw that navel in, maintain that neutral as much as possible, it's four. Yes, three, I'm feeling it in my calves, it's two. My hamstrings are starting to fire up. Hold it open right here and pulse it on up. Find that external rotation right here and squeeze it on up for eight and seven and six, it's five and four and three and two and one. Hold it right here. Lift on up to those tippy toes. Lift those heels up. Hold this wide external rotation. We're going to lower down, flat back and squeeze. Yeah, we inhale lower, flat back, squeeze on up. Here we go. Lower for two, pop up for one. Lower on down. You're going to feel this in the calves. You're going to feel those inner thighs start to fire up a little bit. You're still maintaining that tension in that band. Again, it's not too heavy. It is totally manageable with that resistance. Now, if you're working with a booty band, all you have is a booty band, the thick fabric elastic band, it might be a little more challenging. So do the best you can to maintain that tension the whole time. Let's go ahead and do a few more just like that. Such great work. We're just warming up through the body. I'm warming up through the lower body right here as I reach. Good for four. Taking it on up for three. Woo! And two. Last time. Hold it right here. Pulse it on up for 10 and nine and eight. Lift those heels up nice and tall. Spread those toes nice and wide. It's five and four and three and two. Take it on up to the top and take it on down. Now, as we're here, we're gonna keep those feet nice and parallel. I'm going to lift those hips up back into this bridge. I'm going to float my left leg to tabletop and take it down, switch sides. The goal is to eliminate any movement in those hips, in the body, and we're just holding it nice and still to transfer that weight. So notice those quads are gonna get a little bit of work because we do have that band. It's almost as if we were doing a mountain climber laying on our back, right? Which we will do later, a regular mountain climber with this band for four, three, and two. Last time, hold it right here. We're gonna go ahead, extend that leg up to the sky. We're gonna lower and plie and stretch. Woo! Warming it up, extend. Let's do four more just like that. For four. And reach. For three. For two. Nice work, you guys. Last time, hold it on up for five, four, three, two, switch sides. Don't even drop that booty. Float that leg to tabletop. Find that balance. You find that extension. Lower the booty, bend through that knee, and extend. Good. And squeeze. Yes, let's go for four more. Here we go, six total. We got four. Drawing the belly in, and three, good, it's two. Beautiful work, you guys, the last one. We find this hold, hold it here for five, four, three, two, take it on down, hold it here, last set. Lift your heels, lower, and lift, and lower, lift those hips up nice and high. Reach your arms up to the sky. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower it on down. One vertebra at a time. 
Good, you're gonna extend those legs out just a little bit long. And we're going to reach those arms up to the sky. Face those palms out towards those knees. Keep the tension in that band. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, find that curl, nod that chin to the chest. Hold it right here. Now, take it up to those toes. Float those legs to tabletop and tap. Good, take that deep breath in through the nose. Lengthen through the belly, exhale, pull it into tabletop. So you're just holding it. If your neck is starting to feel petite, just keep your head down. Good. Inhale as you lower, exhale to lift. Think about finding that extension. You're lengthening through those hip flexors. Yep, we're not gripping through those legs. Those lower abs are doing all the work. Take those hands behind the head for four, for three, and two. Last time, hold it right here. Go ahead, take those elbows to those knees, take it on down. The only time I'll let you keep those elbows in parallel with those shoulders, yeah? The goal is to round through that spine, curl, curl, curl. Can you lift the chest to meet the knees versus the knees towards the chest? Lift, lift, lift to the top. Let's go for three more, here we go. Exhale, hello, double crunch, good to see ya. Good morning, good afternoon for two. We're gonna hold it up at the top when you're ready. Find this hold and pulse it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take it on down. Bring it in, shake it out. And we're gonna go ahead onto our side. So take your cell phone up. We're gonna come up to our right side. We're already here, we already have this band here. I'm going to keep my right shoulder on top of that elbow. We're gonna go into a modified uh, side plank to start. So as I'm here, I'm just going to send my hips back. Open on up and lift through my hips. Now notice my legs are together. And from here, I'm going to reach that left arm up to the sky. Hi, what's up Ketchup? How's it going? Hold it right here. Open on up through the chest. Lift up and out of those arms. We're going to lift that left leg up. Oop, hello. And I'm gonna take it on down. Find that lift. If you're like me, that band is gonna get really slippery. Keep going. Open up through that knee and take it on down. Keep going. I'm still watching you. I'm just adjusting as I open and close. Now here's what's gonna happen. I'm right here. I'm gonna lower through my hips and then I'm going to lift on up to the top, all glutes. Good, and up, and we take it on down. Here we go, reach, hi, and come on down, hi. Good, you've got five more to go right here. I'm gonna readjust a little bit, there we go. Woo, for four, send those hips on back. I'm working that bottom glute as I take it on up for four. And three. Oh, this is a burner. I'm also getting that side plank work. It's two. Nice, last time. Hold it on up right here. Pulse it up, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that left leg long, step that right foot back, hold it right here, side plank, here we are. Curl that arm underneath and reach, thread that needle. I love side planks, great shoulder stability. Working through that right oblique for five. Beautiful work for four. Nice for three. Beautiful, it's two. Last time. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. Lift that top leg up for eight, seven, 
six, lift that bottom hip higher for four, three, two, one, and take it on down. Shake it on off. Before we go onto that other side, I'm gonna grab onto this band. I'm gonna do a little bit of work in the center, then we're gonna take it on down. So as for here, open on up through those knees. I'm going to roll those shoulders back. Those elbows are in. We're going to reach those arms forward. Reach it out long. Take it back. Use that inhale here. And exhale. Now if you were here through the side, think about reaching those arms long and taking it back in. You're finding the engagement underneath those armpits here. Good, beautiful work. Reach. Nice, you guys. For four. It's gonna get real spicy in three. And two, almost there. Last time, reach it forward, open on up. Open, open, slight bend in those elbows. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach those palms down, pull those elbows back, and in. Send those hips on down, reach it on up. Y'all, I love booty taps. I've been doing this a lot. It's my favorite. You know why? Not only am I working through the upper body, but I'm starting to fire up those legs in a different way, working through those quads, through the front of those legs. Oh yeah. My shoulders are burning from yesterday. Yesterday's arm workout. Look, my Pomeranian turned into a Persian cat. Wow. Stretch. Hi, Kermy. This is Kermy. Hi, Kerm. Can you face the camera though? Last three, beautiful, almost there. For two, last time. Hold it on out, pulse it on out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it on out right here. I'm gonna take it on up. I'm gonna keep those bands right around my wrists. I'm going to reach my arms up to the sky I'm going to open on up through the chest, then reach it on down, yeah? Shoulders back, reach those arms up overhead, pull it apart. Now notice my shoulders are pulling down. Gravity is pulling my shoulder down away from my ears. It's creating length in my collarbone. It's creating length in my neck as I'm working through my upper body. Whoo, it's killer. Don't worry, we got more legs after this. Fret not. We got more booty. We got more obliques coming on up for three. Beautiful. And take it on back, it's two, you got it. Woo! Last time, go ahead and pull it on back. Find that pull, five. Four, three, two, and one. Take it on back. Take it down to your side. Take that band back just above your knees. If it rolls up, it's okay. We gotta go with the flow here. So take it on down to that left side. Send those hips on back. Your knees and your feet are together. So you wanna think about finding that hinge back. We're just gonna lift on up here to start as I hold and I'm just going to open on up. No biggie, they can be here all day. You're like, wow, this is so easy. I think you know what's coming up. Go ahead, lower those hips and lift. Make it explosive. Good, it's like prepping for that side plank on that left side. You're getting that shoulder engagement. Make sure that shoulder isn't creeping in towards that ear, yeah? Good, lift and take it on down. You got four, woo, and three. And we lift for two, the last one. Hold it on up right here and lift it up for five, four, three, two, one. Take that 
leg on out. Let's find that side plank, find that hold. Reach that arm underneath, thread that needle, and take it on up. You know what's coming, we've done this before. It's like deja vu, we've been here. We've all been here. But on the other side, the new side for three. Beautiful. Nice, you guys, so strong. I'm so proud of you for two, you got this. Woo, shaping those obliques. Hell yeah, hold it right here. Reach that top leg up, up for five. Four, lift that bottom oblique, that bottom hip for three, two, one, and take it on down. Whew. Shake it on out. Let's go ahead and wiggle that band towards the arches of our feet. So wiggle it out, hold it right here. We're gonna go ahead and take it into a little kickback. Roll those shoulders back, keep those feet nice and flexed, draw the belly in. So we don't wanna be curled through the pelvis. We also don't wanna be reaching down here, yeah? Find that nice little neutral. You're going to anchor those feet down and you're going to press that right leg long. Notice that stretch, press that right hip forward and take it back in. Beautiful, so we're alternating through this length here, reaching it long. You want to think about leading with the glute. That hamstring is lengthening as you press. I'm keeping those feet flexed in order to keep that band in place. We're just getting a little more hamstring work that way. Targeting the bottom of that glute just a little more with that flexed foot position. You know who also has a flexed foot? I'm going to slowly walk away and you're going to see Kermie. <laughs> Keep going, don't walk like I am. You see Kermie right now? He looks so funny. He's just like living his best life, just leaning against the wall, foot is long, one foot is up towards his face, he's grooming. You know, this should actually be an exercise to walk it up and down the mat, huh? Good, that was on total accident. Good, for four. I've been teaching for eight years, and I surprise myself every single time. Last five. Here we go, you guys. Four. Woo, we're gonna isolate one leg only for three. Oh yeah, four, two. We're gonna take it to one. We're gonna start opposite side. Hold it right here. We lift, we lift, we lift. Good, keep a slight bend in those elbows. Try not to move the rest of the body here. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it right here. We're going to take it forward. I know we're getting a little crazy like that seesaw and press. Oh yeah. For five. Woo! Oh my gosh. Take it in and down for four. Woo, keep those legs long, drop those shoulders away from those ears for three. Spread those palms wide, elbows in towards the ribs. It's two, the last time. Woo, oh my gosh. Last time, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it on in. Nice, left side, take it back, lift. Lift for eight, seven. Don't let the rest of the body move. Isolate from that left leg only. Lift from the left glute for four, three, two, one. Hold it on up. We're back. Drop it down. You got six right here. Woo! For five, keep that leg long. Drop that chest over those palms for four. Oh, this is my favorite with the band. I'm getting that leg work for three. Woo! And two. The last one. I'm going to hold it on down. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Send those hips on back. Oh, Lordy, that was an intense one. 
go ahead and remove that right here. We're gonna take it on back to our kneeling position. We're gonna hold it in this kneeling position and you're gonna hold it onto the wrist. My right palm is gonna start as long as that band is around that left side. Single external rotation, we've done these before. I'm pushing into that band, spreading those fingertips wide. So notice right here, I'm finding this opening and keeping those elbows in like a door hinge. Oh, it's gnarly. Working through the rhomboids here, oh yeah. Pulling down through those lats. Woo! Last four, we're gonna go to the other side in three. Beautiful work, you guys. Two. Yes, last time, here we go. Hold it on out, pulse it out for five, four, three, two, one. Now go ahead, bring it in. You're gonna hold it in. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to pull that elbow out to the side and release it. So I'm gonna pull my palm back just a little bit so I have more tension. So if you want more tension, pull that arm out to the side, externally rotate it, so you have more of a distance to pull from. The closer that palm is parallel to the elbow, the lighter that weight will be. Now from here, you're gonna notice from the side, my elbow is going in the same plane as my body. So my elbow isn't pulling back, it's not coming forward. I'm just going into this lateral pull. For four. Great job, you guys. For three. And two. Kermie is scratching my mat. It is not a scratch toy. Hi. Last time, hold it here and pull and pull. For four, three, two, and one, let's switch sides, here we go. We're back to that single external rotation. Roll those shoulders back. We don't want this super heavy. I like showing you guys at an angle so you can see what my body is doing. My elbow isn't detaching from my ribs. In fact, it stays as close as possible which means that the range of motion isn't meant to be far. It's not meant to be a full external rotation. It's more about the activation here because that tricep is externally rotating out to the side of the room already. You're feeling that shoulder pull back and it's engaging the lat muscles underneath those armpits. That's what we want. It's a real small. It's a great way to open up that posture at the same time. Yeah, for three. Woo, for two. We're gonna hold it open right here. Find that hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it on in. Now grab onto that band, over, cup that band with those fingertips over, open up that band out to the side, keep that elbow in and let's pull it out right here. Taking that deep breath in, exhale. Keep that shoulder away from the ear as much as possible. As much as it wants to creep up, I know it wants to do all the creeping, but we gotta do what we can to keep that shoulder away from the jawline. For four, almost there everybody. We have three, such great work so far you guys. It's two, the last time, hold it and pulse it here for five. It's four and three, and two, and one. Shake it on out. Such beautiful work, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it onto our palms once again, but this time, we're gonna go ahead and take that band around those feet one last time. Kermie is in the way, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come this way. Hi, Kermie. My palms are over the cat. As my palms are over the cat, I'm making sure that my cat's belly is comfortably resting up against my wrist so he has some extra cushion and mother to son contact. I'm going to reach my arms along, my legs long, and hold it right here. 
Allow your child to sleep up against your palms as needed for him to get a good morning's rest. After doing what? Nothing. Pull that knee to the chest, flex that foot. Remember that mountain climber that I said we would do. Now's the time. Pulling it in, we reach. Now if this doesn't feel good, modify to the knees, yeah? And take it down. Whatever works for you at this time, you want to think about stabilizing through the body as much as possible here. Let's go for eight. And seven. And six. Beautiful work, you guys. My band is about to slip for five. Here we go. Whoop. There it is. For four. And three. It's a lot of lower ab work for two. The last time. Bring it in. Bring it in. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, and send those hips on back. Now we're going to work those triceps a little bit. You're going to stay in that child's pose. Go ahead and grab onto that band. Oh boy. Hold it right here. Roll those shoulders back. Lift through those hips. Open on up through those palms. Face the palms in. Open and open. 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 Good. Now you're keeping that chin off the chest. Gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Here we go. We open, lift. Open, lift. Open, we lift. Hello, triceps. Oh my gosh. My palms are barely moving. All the work is happening through my triceps and my shoulders as I hinge it up and out. Five, four, oh it burns, three, two, last one, hold it back for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it on out. Beautiful work, you guys. Let's take it on to our backs. Hold it right here. We're going to keep those arms with the band. We're going to hold it open. We're going to roll it on down. Send it on back. Reach those arms up to the sky. Then exhale, nod that chin to the chest. Reach it on up. Full rolling sit-ups. Yeah, there you go. Reach those arms back. Arms on up to the sky. Chin to the chest slowly. Roll yourself up to the top. Take it on down. Yes, beautiful. So you're finding the sequential roll up and this roll down, doing our best to anchor those feet down. Rolling it back. Nice. How are we doing, chat? How are we feeling? As you take it on up, reach it up long. Here we go. Two more. We're going to start adding on to this. Good, last one. Now take that left leg up to tabletop. Oh yeah. Another one here. Now switch sides, right leg. Can you keep that leg in tabletop the whole time? Roll those shoulders back. Finding that curl. All right, here we go, y'all. When you're ready, we're going to go ahead, take both legs on up, hold it. Now we're going to lower it only halfway. And up. Beautiful. Reach it on back. Take it on up. Take it on out. And reach. You got four more. Here we go. And three. Oh my gosh, my abs are burning. It's two. Woo! Last time. Hold it right here. Can you find this hold? Rotate to the right. Rotate to the left. Right. Left. Right. Get that twist. You have ten. Nine. 
eight, seven, six, five, four. You've got a final hold in three, two, one. Hold it long, reach those legs long, hold it here for 10. It's nine and eight and seven, almost there. You have five, four, three, two. Slow it down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, you guys, beautiful job. Pull those knees in to the chest. Woo! That was killer. Nuts. Beautiful work, you guys. Go ahead and grab onto the outsides of those feet. Go ahead into that little happy baby. <sighs> We're going to take a moment to stretch here. We're going to take our time. So as you have this band, take that right foot into that band. Reach it on up. Now, as we're here, we're gonna pull that leg in, keep both hips on down, pull that right elbow down, you're gonna stretch that leg on down, and lift, yeah? So we're gonna point those toes down, and lift. So we're gonna get a little bit of work here. So even though we're kinda cooling down a little bit, we're still gonna get a little bit of work. Last four. And three. And two. Last one. Pull it in all the way. Open it up to the right. Keep that left hip down. Hi, Kermy. Look at you being such a good boy. Good. Then cross it over the body. Switch your grip. Pull it over. Oh my goodness. Hello, IT man. If you ever have knee issues, knee sensitivities, a lot of the time the myofascial tissue in that IT band is so tight and needs to be loosened up, that's where a lot of knee sensitivity issues come from. So if you have a foam roller, two tennis balls, and a tube sock, roll out that IT band and scream your heart out because it hurts like a mother. Pull that right hip bone back, pull it in. I'm going to pull that band in towards my shoulder, so the knee is coming in towards my shoulder here for four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides. Whoo! Beautiful work, you guys. Again, we're gonna get some work in here. We're gonna come on down. We're going to point those toes on the way down and then take it on up. So make sure that both hips are anchoring down. You're just adding a little bit of resistance. If we were on a Pilates reformer machine, we would be doing feet and straps. So this is my variation of it with really tight resistance. Last time. My dream is to have a pink and white reformer. That's like the ultimate goal. Good work, you guys. Take in a moment, let it come out to the side. Just taking a moment to thank your body for all the hard work you've done and for the health of our bodies and for taking an hour out of our morning, our afternoon to come together and to just focus on you. I know for me, this is a great escape for me to work on myself when I read so much bad shit on the news, a lot of bad things happening in the world. And when I want to escape, I turn inwards and I focus on myself. And I focus on my body, I focus on the health of my mind, my emotional health, my mental health. so important. Pull that knee in. And to be honest, I only had like four hours of sleep last night. I did not have a very good night's sleep because I took that nap 
but starting class made me feel so much better. And had I not done this, I probably would have been so groggy all day, but I'm just looking forward to having, you know, kind of mental clarity this morning, especially after having a really rough day yesterday. Um, I think it's just important to note that it's okay to take a step back from things when it starts to feel heavy on your mind, on your heart. And we have to prioritize ourselves so we can help ourselves before we can help others. Good. Take those knees in. We're just gonna stretch those arms long. So you're gonna go ahead, pull those arms back. Flex those feet. Just let those arms go forward. Feel the lats engage. When we start to add tension into this band, it's giving us a bit of guidance. That engagement is gonna help give us a deeper stretch. So we have that intention behind lengthening through the arms, the shoulders, the back. Last time, I'm going to let my band come out. I'm gonna reach my arms on out, find those circles, Last time, if we were on a foam roller, this would feel so good. Last time, and reverse it. Just getting movement through those arms. What a great way to wake up, huh? Pilates will always be one of my first loves. It's so good for the mind, for the body. But it gets us so strong and it's so deceiving because people think, ah, Pilates is a wimpy, wimpy workout. Well, you're wrong, my friend, because you're not doing it right. And when you're ready, we're gonna reach those arms on down and slowly roll yourselves on up one vertebra at a time for four, three, two, and reach it forward here. Look at all the bits, sister got game, dropping all the bits in the chat. Amazing. Great work, you guys. Slowly let it come on up. Go ahead and take your band off to the side. And let's just go ahead and cross those legs right here. Whatever is comfortable for you. Let's go ahead and reach those arms up to the sky and let's dive it forward and just we'll let it come forward right here. Keeping the chin off the chest. Hi, Kermie. You can pet your cat or your dog if they're nearby. Hi, Kerm. And slowly take yourself on up. Take that right palm onto the back and just reach on up and over. We did a lot of oblique work today. Bend through that back elbow to get a deeper stretch, lifting up and out of that hip. Look at that stretchy boy. <laughs> then take it on down. All right. Wait, fart burrito drops some bits too? So sorry, you guys. My, uh, my, cam my uh, screen is zoomed in like 500%. <laughs> because I'm as blind as a bat, but I'm not. I'm just nearsighted, so the tiniest things I can't really see. Fart burrito, I don't know what I'm doing, just clicking stuff, same. That's all I do. And when you're ready, reach those arms up to the sky. And take it on in one last time, reach those arms up to the sky. Reach, 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 up, 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 out of those hips. Bring those hands to heart center. Take those palms to heart center here. Thank you so much for your presence. Your presence means the world to me, for you to be here and to prioritize ourselves and our self-care during these times. Take care of your emotional state, your mental state. You are deserving of love and all the best and worthy of the best. 
And I thank you guys so much for your positive energy and for your presence today. I feel it all the way from here. So thank you guys so much. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was amazing. I feel amazing. I feel like I've stretched the entire body. I've had an opportunity to breathe and to lengthen through my body. And we worked absolutely everything. And I feel so good. And if you haven't already, if you're watching right now and you haven't hit that follow button or even that subscribe button, all of the support means the world to me. And you can follow me at my fitness focused Instagram page at Krissa Sparkles Fitness or my personal page at Krissa Sparkles. Uh, we do have a giveaway that ends this Saturday and I will be announcing it on Saturday. So if you notice in the chat, if you've been working out, there have been links dropped to the giveaway to win a whole set of mini bands, fabric resistance bands, glider discs, everything. So head on over there. If you subscribe to my channel, that's additional entry points. So if you want to do that, go ahead and feel free. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, you got to join us. We have such a positive community of such strong individuals from all over. And you have me as your instructor to hold you accountable live. So if you have a hard time finding time to work out or finding that consistency, you can work out with me on my Twitch channel, 9 a.m. Pilates classes and 6 p.m. strength training. And you can even get ready with me and we'll chat affirmations. We'll do card pulls from the Oracle deck. We'll do some readings from some of my favorite books. And we'll talk about anything and everything. And I would love to have you there. And thank you guys so much. I'm going to stick around after this is over. That way we can chat whatever we want to chat. That's another positive thing about watching my Twitch streams live. Uh, so feel free to join me. Thank you so much. I'm Krissa Sparkles. And I'll see you all next time. And hope you all enjoyed this workout.